Now, I don't know what's more shocking, the fact that I haven't uploaded a video to YouTube in over three months, or the fact that we are less than 300 supporters away from reaching 10,000 on our M&M's Dispenser LEGO Ideas project. If we reach the goal before the end of August, LEGO will consider turning it into a real LEGO set, so please make it a reality by clicking the first link in the description. Shameless plug, the co-creator of the project, Electro Dragon Knight, and I will be hosting a live stream in celebration of the milestone on my channel at the time listed on the screen now. Now I've picked up a craving for Dunkin' Donuts during my absence from YouTube, but none of the newest mashups compared to the M&M's Donut of 2008. So I decided to bring that baby back with an original player. Introducing the LEGO M&M's Dunkin' Donuts Donut Decorator 5000 powered by Arduino with the help of some LEGO YouTubers. Their videos are linked in the outro. I sync up the Arduino code via two USBs, one for the motor's power supply module and the other connects to the Arduino board, aka the brain of the machine. This lid was repurposed as a frosting pool that unfortunately isn't deep enough for swimming. Its installation is a matter of revealing the camouflaged tray, placing the pink magnificence on top and returning the tray to its normal position. Holy moly, that's satisfying. Inserting pennies, nickels, and dimes is like asking a varsity cheerleader to prom. Rejection here is due to the coin's diameters falling short of the supporting rails, immediately dropping them into an accessible compartment. Only upon reading the LCD does the customer insert four quarters, each covering an LED to trigger a light-dependent resistor once does the machine frost and dispense a donut. The hook returns to its initial position while dragging the second donut along. Time to decorate the donut with unlimited M&Ms, but being the gentleman I am, I'll keep it modest. Let's go for round two. Notice how it pauses for two seconds in case frosting drips. Upon inserting an axle, one can rotate a worm gear, consequently rotating two gears, ultimately rotating a gear rack, releasing the tray. You know what? Although the song just ended, I have more plain donuts left over than I know what to do with. So let's restock the machine once more. The hook extends and retracts via gravity to drop the donut from the platform to the moat, all influenced by two motors controlling a belt. Mm -hmm. 